Hey, what's up, everybody? So um, I wanted to um, talk about, I do a lot of talk about like wellness and personal development, you know, that kind of thing, more like on the wellness side. Um, And I realized that, um, you know, really like I'm an addiction specialist um, is really kind of like my thing. And the reason why I talk about wellness is because I find, I have found in my life that the, the, um, the solution to my addiction issues was really not trying to control my drinking or, or, you know, try to control situations so that I didn't drink or use drugs, but rather to, um, really do some, some deep work on myself. And then when I do that, I don't want to drink and I don't want to use, but so like last, yesterday I joined a, um, there's a Facebook group that I joined that's, um, there's an it's an addiction program and there's you know people that are you know in recovery and people that are trying to get sober and and sort of have a new relationship with alcohol and I joined this group and I introduced myself and I just basically told everybody I'm like I have you know I'm I'm, I work in the field of addiction and um I um I've been 10 years sober you know and I'm just here to keep an open mind and sort of like you know, see what this is all about. And like, I got a a bunch of responses. Like one of them was like, um, Oh, how did, you know, how did you get, how did you, you know, get 10 years of sobriety? What did you do? And I kind of like, I talked a little bit about that, about doing the 12 steps and like it. So long story short, it made me like reflect on like, what is, what were the things that I did, um, to, get the 10 years of sobriety you know what I mean because I always focus on the wellness part of it but like what how did I get there and I thought I would offer up a a really brief because I know some of you may struggle with addiction um and maybe it's food addiction maybe it's sex addiction maybe it's um you know alcoholism or drug addiction I thought I'd offer up basically a a three-step framework to how how to get sober basically um and it you know getting sober it, it it's a lot deeper than these three things but these are kind of the three key elements um because i started thinking about it when somebody asked me like how did you do that what what was the, like what were the top things that i needed in order to get sober so the very first thing that um that when i thought about this it was so number 1 was i needed I needed help. I need some, I needed somebody to show me how to do this. Um, because I was out there like for years, I was out there trying to get sober on my own, trying to do different things, even going to AA, you know, self-help books, all that kind of stuff. And what, what really, what this really came down to is I got around the right person. And what, what was really interesting about it was, um, what was really interesting about it was that, um, he reframed, um, reframed what I needed to do to get sober for me. So I had this thing in my mind that I needed to kind of control all these different things so that I would avoid drinking or avoid using drugs. I was both alcohol and, and drug, drug abuse. Um, and I'm going, I was at this, it was a, it was a 12 step retreat program and I was doing really badly and I'm going through so this this individual was teaching me basically what addiction was and he basically said Russell you don't have a drinking problem you have a sober problem and I had to like like I paused and I was like nobody's ever put it that way like every time that I get every time that I get sober um I feel miserable, you know what I mean? So it doesn't, like I can avoid the drink and do all these different things, right? But it didn't solve my main core problem, which was I didn't know how to live a life sober. And so when he told, when he said that to me, he, it kind of made me realize it was, it was like, oh my God, like I'm focusing on sort of trying to arrange this stuff on the outside and, and fix my life so that I, so that I don't drink. And a lot of that for me was like pure might, like I would like, you know, wake up and like promise myself I'm not going to drink today, you know, and then by like nine o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm like thinking about a drink and then eventually, and then like late morning I'm drinking. Right. So when, so this is my point on step one, which is I needed, 
I needed a really high quality and good guidance with this. When this individual sort of turn, you know, it's like when you you perceive something and then it's turned upside down. When he said that th- that I had a sober problem, not a drinking problem, it changed everything for me because I realized the place that I needed to work on was sober Russell, not drinking Russell. Got it? So number one, you need to find somebody that knows what the hell they're talking about. Um, There's a lot of bullshit out there like don't drive by the bar, don't drive by the liquor store, you know, figure out what your triggers are and, and all that stuff. And none of that crap ever worked for me because I was trying to I was trying to avoid drinking rather than trying to work on myself so that I didn't feel like I needed to drink, right? Um, So that leads to number two. So number two, and this is really good stuff, and this is where the wellness stuff comes in. Now that I know that I need to work on myself, right? So number two is the way to get out of addiction is to work on myself. So, and that started with with one, being really truthful with myself and to do practices that allow me to increase self-awareness like meditation, sometimes it's prayer. The 12 steps, the, the fourth step in the 12 steps is if you do it correctly um, in a really short period of time, you can supercharge your self-awareness. Um, and that was part of some of the ingredients but in that had the fourth step had nothing to do with avoiding alcohol it had all to do with how do I react to life and in a very short period of time like one to two months of, of writing this this enormous document I healed more than I did in years of therapy um, just simply because I started to see things about myself that needed to change and things that I didn't some things I didn't wasn't even aware of um, but so number two, just k- keeping on with that, like I had to focus on changing myself um, and really trying, it, it really came down to personal development. Like it actually had to become the foundation of my life, which is to, on a daily basis to continually grow as a person. Um, and there's a lot more to it than that, but um, that needed to be my focus. Not, like I said in step one, not avoiding drinking. Um, now if you're drinking, it's really hard to do the personal development stuff. So that was number two. I had, and, and underlying all, all of that personal development is, um, is basically truth, you know? So all these areas of my life I need to get honest about starting with myself. So that was number two. So number one, find the right guidance, right? The right person, the people that are qualified to help you with this. Number two, it's about self personal development truth and personal introspection and personal change not about avoiding drinking all right and then um and then number three is and this is just really a concept but number three i had to make this the foundation of my life above all else And by the way, that sounds really like bad, like, oh, I'm going to like struggle every day to try to like not drink and all that stuff. But remember, in number two, I get to become a really good person. I get to, you know, develop, develop myself. I get to self-actualize. I get to do all this really great stuff and find all, you know what I mean? So like the, you know, the idea that I have in my head that I'm never going to drink again, if that scares me, that's really just something that's not true. Like once I started to do the personal development and grow as a person as a foundation and change the sober person um, I started to really enjoy life and like I don't want to drink like I just, like doesn't even cross my mind so um, but but so number three I had to make this the foundation of my life so at the beginning that was a little bit tough I really needed to kind of like sort of you know focus on myself and to the exclusion of everything else and, and just really like really grow as a person so that I could establish a foundation of sobriety and then after a while like after a couple of months of doing that like it it just becomes second nature like I can't not do it now like I can't go through my day and and lie to myself about different things there's always this point where I'm like oh my god that's that's not true at all I need to you know 
see the truth, talk to somebody about it, and get on with my day. Um, so again, foundation of my life. And the good news about that, like I was saying, is that when you have a foundation of wellness in your life, the, it, like recovery and sobriety is like the most important thing to you, um, it becomes easy and, and, and fun and enjoyable to do. And that's where, for me, all this wellness stuff and all this like, you know, I get into prayer and meditation and, and all this stuff, um, personal development, uh, it all came out of that because I enjoy doing that stuff now. Uh, it's not about like not drinking. It's about uh, the fact that I really like the person that I'm becoming. So anyway, real quick, number one, finding the person that the people that can help you, the people that are qualified to help you to, to, to do this. Number two, it's not about avoiding alcohol and drugs. It's about um, it's about self-actualizing. It's about changing the person. It's about truth. It's about treating the, the sober person, not the drunk person. And then number three, about making recovery and personal development your foundation. So anyway, I hope you got some value out of that. If, if you need anything from me, please, please comment, like, share this. Um, you want a copy of my free book um, that's in the, uh, in the comments, uh, actually up above. And uh, if you're interested in wellness coaching, um, feel free to book a call with me. Uh, that link is up above as well. All right. Have a great day. Thanks.